Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines Industries with me, Biffa. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Hope you're having a great day today. How are you keeping? How are you keeping? Hope you're keeping well. So we are diving back into looking at trying to expand some more of our industries. So far in this series, we've managed to get a five star... Uh, farm set up over here and I've just been sort of balancing things a bit with some of my industries because I mean we're, we're not making a huge amount of profits uh, sometimes although when you look I say sometimes man, minus what is going on with my money <laughs> my money's suddenly gone nuts that will change again in a minute uh, if we have a look at the budget panel over uh, here here we go Oh, normally overall we're making loads of money. What is going on? The second I press record, everything's going nuts. Let's just speak. There we go, look. So it goes up and down quite often depending on what products we've got coming in. Uh, we can see our factories are making tons of money. But what I'm trying to do is see whether we can make our individual industry sections make some money as well. So I was just sort of, this thing here, it's always complaining about trash not being collected. It's weird. So, for instance, I was looking at this, and we're, like, making absolutely tons of crops. Far more than we're actually using. Um, so, what I would possibly do is say, okay, well, let's turn off some of these fields then. So, well, I mean, they're only, like, 12 quid a week. But we've just got so many. All of these are making crops. All of these are making crops. I think some of these are making crops. The greenhouses. So, I'm thinking we'll turn off a couple of these fields each. There we go. Uh, what else have we got making crops? We've got this greenhouse, two medium greenhouses, three medium greenhouses, four medium greenhouses, plus all of that stuff. That's why we're overladen with crops. So I added another flour mill in, uh, but that's costing us as well. Uh, what have we got here? Gre yeah, look, these are making crops. He's making animal products. Oh, man, there's so many. Uh, I'm going to turn off that as well. And that. And we'll see how we go. Whether that sort of balances things out a bit. And you'll notice our upkeep here would have dropped down. I can't remember what it was before. But we'll see how that goes. Sort of balancing that out. I did the same over here. Uh, with our forestry area. Our upkeep was huge. Um, so I've turned off a load of these. Uh, the upkeep on these is 160 a week. So it soon adds up. We put all of these in to get the efficiency up. 140% instead of 200%. Um, let's go back to here, but our upkeep has dropped dramatically and we seem to be making more money And again, we've got tons of raw forestry products as well. So ideally We want to have this as a minimum and these as a maximum uh, Let's have a look over here. So Shadalak ore this one up to five star yesterday yesterday's episode I believe so that's not too bad. It's about halfway and it's sort of making profit, but all of this is going off. The glass and the metals are going off to our factories over here. And as we saw, our factories overall are making lots of money. So, you know, that's good. As long as the end of the production chain, in my mind, is making lots of money, I'm happy with that. So, yeah, these are stocked up nicely. As we can see, these are filling up. I've got those set to fill anyway. I've got these set to balance. Yeah. That's set to balance. And then we've got another storage over here. Yeah, there we go. That's set to balance as well for the plastic. So it's going okay. Oh, we've got two plastic warehouses. Well, do you know what? I'm going to set that to none at the moment. Because we've got this one here, which should be plenty. So that's going like that. Um, we've had a little mini death wave, but we seem to be recovering, which is good. What is our budget at? Taxes are at... 10, 11, 11. Yeah, we'll leave those like that. Water and electricity doing fine. So, we want to grow our oil. And we're way off with the jobs. We need a lot more jobs. Resources-wise, we're fine. Uh, oil is being used up by the bucket load. Haha. -ha. So, we obviously could do with more of that. Oh, hang on a sec. We've got water pumping stations over here. Oh, this was just sewage over here, wasn't it? I mean, we could pump water out of here as well, couldn't we? If you have a look at the pollution. <laughs> There's, like, no pollution in there at all. Hmm. Could I pump some water out of here? Like this. I think that would be fine, wouldn't it? 
Let's go one, two, and we can get rid of those ones the other side. Three, four. We're going to connect. Yeah. Connect to this one. It doesn't want to connect to this little one right there. Got it. There we go. We do those instead. How is that going to work? Hopefully okay. Is that going to start filling up all right? Hmm. This could be a recipe for disaster. Average drinking water pollution is down 1%. So it's gone up. <laughs> because of these. I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. I'm waiting for it to go up again. 1%. Alright, okay. Ground pollution is going up and down, up and down. I think that's alright. Just don't tell anybody that's where we're getting our water from. What we could actually do is move them way over here. <laughs> this could, again, this could be a recipe for disaster. Let's move them way up here. There we go. And that one as well. Let's hook these up again. There we go. Just remove that little bit, that little bit. Let's see what that says. Uh, pollution. 1%. Oh, I think we'll go, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Let's take these ones out of the way then over here. Because this area is going to be... Yep. Yeah, destroy. 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 Thank you very much. This it. We're going to change this area a lot. So 1%. Plenty of water. Okay, good. So we need to upgrade this area. I've changed this roundabout. This roundabout was leading into one road coming down here. Which then split off. I've put these two coming down here. And there's no traffic. Coming on and off that roundabout now, which is fantastic. 84%, that's not bad. So let's look at what options we have to upgrade our ore industry. Let's turn that down there. So what have we got that we haven't used yet? We've got some of these large oil drilling rigs, which we need to use some of these. Uh, 12,040 a week, 20,080 a week. How big are they? Not in industry area. How big's this in? Oh, it's over here. Uh, just trying to sort of see. So most of the oil, yeah, is round in that area. So we probably need to stick them down the front here, I would imagine. Let's just see if we can. 8,832 a week. Is that going to change much? 9,600. What is the maximum they can do? 9,600. There we go. So if we stick a couple of those down there. Right on the edge. And see how they go. Because, yeah, some of these you see are... Oh, man, these adverts. Shut up! Shut up! I want music, not adverts. And hopefully with these now we'll get a nice boost to the amount of oil that we're getting. There we go. And we've got the possibility of another 100 workers. Which is fantastic. So that will take us up a nice jump. Good, good, good. 600. So only a couple of under workers short. I mean, a few of those and we'd be there, wouldn't we? But I'm trying to sort of balance this rather than just chuck it all down. So we're still importing oil. Now we're not importing oil. Oh, do you know what? I am going to put another couple of those down. This just seems like a good spot. 9,600. We're getting loads from that. We'd like to sort of terraform away this terrible piece of land there, but we'll get to that. So how does that help? Jobs going up again. Ah, oh, let's see how many people are unemployed. I did see this a few episodes back. I flicked through it and moved on too quick. 13%. That's good, because that means that these jobs are going to get taken very quickly. So 29 out of 50, 30 out of 40. Yeah, see, they're filling up already. That is great. I don't think it's going to take long, you know. I bet the music's back now. Yeah, there we go. So that's those. What else have we got here? Large oil pump. Yeah, we're using the drilling rig. Um, industry oil maintenance building. Do we have one of those in here? I think we do. What does that look like? Industry oil workers barracks. Main building. No, I don't think we have. Nope. Let's pop one of these in there. So, can I run a road up here and sort of have it in this area? Let's see what we can do. Perfect. So, let's run that up in here. And we're sort of going to use this space. So, let us pop that in here. 
oh, not in industry area. I was looking at that. I was reading it and I was thinking, that just doesn't make any sense. There we go. Of course, it does make sense. There we go. Excellent. So what is that going to do for us? Storage efficiency, 105%. Okay. Good, good, good. So that goes with our, looks like our main building a bit. Excellent. That's going to give us some more jobs. Another 50 workers. How's our unemployment going? 15%. Okay, unemployment's rising even though we're creating more jobs. And we have a big industry need as well. So people are going to be running over here. So we've got the pyrolysis plant, which we've already used that one. The petrochemical plant, we've already used that one. Waste oil refining plant, um, which requires oil to produce petroleum as well. So that's probably... Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot bigger. Let's just stick one of those down and have a look what it looks like. Yeah, I don't think we've whoa, I don't think we've used this one. But we're struggling for raw material, so we really need to get pumping this. Oh, there we go. Look, that's filled all nicely. That's filled up. Cool, good. We're making money. We've got 771 jobs out of 800. It is rising any minute now. This is going to hit the next level. Which is fantastic. But I think we still need to set up another industry area somewhere. Now, I was thinking about this before. Because with all the factories that we've got. You could set up an industry area that just particularly deals with the stuff that would go to one factory. Does that make sense? Rather than sort of having, like we've got here, just four areas that all do everything. So we need to have a look at that a bit later. We're not enough animal products. Ah, okay. Well, we didn't turn any of those off, did we? So let's have a quick look at our farm. Well, for instance, there's a good example. Look, we need animal products. There's obviously a shortage of animal products. We could increase that farm. I keep pointing to that. We could increase that farm. Hey, there we go. Level five. Offshore oil drilling. Naphtha cracker plant. Oh, I love crackers. And a sneaker factory. We'll come back to those. Yeah, so I could put more farms over here uh, for making the animal products. Or we could just put some nearer because, I mean, we've got farming area right here. We could just make a little mini farm zone. It's right next door to what we've got. Why don't we do that? So let's just take in like this little area here. Walnut Industrial Park. Let's grab some of these small little roads. Where should we come off of? Do, 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 do. Oh, I, love, I love this soundtrack. Best soundtrack for a game ever, I have to say. I've been listening to Tupperware Remix Party a lot as well. I think I mentioned those in the last episode. They're basically the same style of music as this is in. This uh, new synthetic rock track. Music by the Coens. And uh, if we come along here, I'm just sort of randomly putting some things in there. So let's do a farming industry. Let's grab the main building. And that can just fit in the side there. There we go. Don't know what's going on with their garden. That looks a bit weird. Well, we can we can fix that for you, sir, for a small monthly payment of $49.99.99. There we go. Excellent. That looks better. So we always want to get some farming in here. Yeah, we've got some animal products, but not many. So let's get... So there's a few different choices, isn't there? We've got... So the storage, the production... So we've got, like, the pastures. But wasn't there another sort of thing that made animal products? Flour mill, cattle shed. That takes crops. Yeah, there we go. Well ventilated cattle sheds. So we could like stick a couple of those in like that. And then put a little crop field next to it so they can get the stuff that they need. So if we go for a large animal pasture, new large fruit field, that'll make crops, won't it? Yeah. Like that. Mm, let's just join that up to there. It's going to go along to there. Yeah, we may as well join that up to there. Why not? There we go. And then we just want to put some storage along here. What have we got? What have we got for storage? These will store... Oh, do you know what we could use? Is actual warehouse. 
Warehouse yard. Small warehouse. Like that. And then we could have that set to animal products. There we go. So they won't import those. That will just do what's coming off of this one. And we can have whatever crops we like. There we go. So this might never actually upgrade to a larger farm. But that is all we need. We've got Walnut Grove. Let's uh, rename that. Let's find somebody who's supporting me on Patreon that is actually on my Discord at the moment. Ah, oh, there we go. Look. Madman Grove. Whoops. Pressed in the wrong button. Madman Grove. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon. And being on the Discord as well. That's what we need. That's what we need. So, links below for both of those if you wish to do it. It's like little gaps. Oh, it's like they're little collection areas. I like that. So, we do want to keep an eye on this. Whether we're making enough. There we go. Own products. Excellent. We're making enough. Animal products. And then I suppose the rest of these, if we're making too many of those crops, we could just put a little... Small grain silo, large grain silo. I mean, it's not grain, is it? So, small barn. There we go. That'll do. Just to hold some of these crops if we need to. Excellent. There we go. So, that'll hopefully start helping with the animal products over here. <laughs> now, we've got not enough flowers. Oh, well, well, we'll have a look at that in a bit. Because we're going to move over back over to here now. So, we are now five star at Franklin Petroleum. I don't think I ever did change the name of that. I can't remember. Did I? Did I not? Anyway, we'll leave it as that. So, what have we got? Oh, man. We want the offshore oil rig. Uh, here it is. This one. Offshore oil drilling platform. For extracting oil industry raw materials. Some seabed deep rock formations. Extractor needs to be placed on the oil field inside industry area. But in the sea, obviously. So, let us turn that off. How much is that going to cost? 160 a week. Cost 45,000. Well, we're rolling in money. Oh, man. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. Oh, that is fantastic. So, where would be a good spot for this? I'm wondering whether we could buy another square and sort of have it over here somewhere. And connect it up to that industry. Do we have squares to spare? We do. <laughs> Who knows what that's from? Do you have a square to spare? I do not have a square to spare. Let me know in the comments below. Could we fit that in here? Let's turn that off. Oh, I can't wait until I get the tog toggleable whiteness mod back. And stop this popping up every time you do something. Right, let's go out here. Let's go out here. And just sort of grab this area. Franklin Petroleum is growing. Good, good, good. Yeah, there we go. Good. Um, so that could go in here. Water required. Hmm. It's like a weird place to have an oil rig, though, isn't it? Right up against there. That is not how I wanted it to... Yeah, maybe we could move one of these islands. Like this little one in the middle here. Isn't it oil under there? Sort of. There's like a big patch here. Which in my mind, if we could get it... Oh, what's that? 11,200 units per week. What's the maximum it will do? Uh, 11,200. Well, there we go. Look. I'm going to remove that island in the middle. That's what I'm going to do. Sorry, island. You, you, you're not needed. So we're going to go that height there. Zoop. And there it goes. It's gone. Yep, and this is going to be where it goes. And we're going to have it on that. So let's see if we can sort of line it up. And we're going to have to get a road across here as well. Perfect. There we go. Look at that. Right in the middle of all these islands. That is perfect. And the details on this model as well are fantastic. Let's have a quick sip of tea. Can we see anybody working on here? Not yet. It's probably not working yet, is it? Because we've got no road access, no water. Yeah. Operating at a reduced rate. Well, let's see what we can do. 
This will be fun. Trying to get a road across here. Maybe should have thought about that first. So if we go like that. There we go. You've got a road access now. Is that, is that good enough? No. Okay. Let us go over here. Oh, yeah. Get a nice bridge. There we go. Nice. Oh, I like this new looking bridge. Industrial style looking bridge. Oh, that is fantastic. And then can we hook up just straight across there somewhere? All right, road. Space already exists. Space already occupied. Okay, tell you what, we're going to go there. Yeah. And then, why is the space already occupied? Electrical thing? Yes. Let's bulldoze that. And bulldoze that. There we go. And we're going to connect in there. There we go. That is not bad at all. I like that bridge. Nice. And it just needs water and stuff. So let's get some water pipes. Perfect. Let's get this water pipe out here. Very good. And electricity. So if we go with the advanced wind turbine in the water, that's going to work perfectly. So we're going to just put that sort of off the island there. There we go. Look at that. That's going to kick in. That's going to be working. Whoa, that truck. What was that, man? Are you going to do that every time? Do we need to lower this or raise it or something? Yeah, maybe we do. Let's move it mod that. Yeah, there we go. Look. It's the same height now. Does that mess everything else up? No, I think that's okay. Cool. Have we got people working in here? Just the trucks. We've got anybody working on here? No, they're probably all inside being seasick. Oh man, that just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Well done, whoever makes the models. I have to tell you, that is that is one of the best ones, I think, in-game. Most detailed. Looks brilliant. Just getting some screenshots of that. Good. Oh, we've got a helicopter pad and the city behind. Oh, that is what we want. There we go. Good. Right. So that one's working. That has created a ton of jobs. Uh, 10 jobs. No, 90 jobs. There we go. Excellent. That is making oil. So hopefully now... Uh, no, we don't want to look at that. Franklin Petroleum. Our oil production is way, way up. So what is it that we were short of over here? Uh, that's set to none. That's fine. Flower, plastics. Yeah, plastics are sort of low on there. Yeah, I reckon if we get some more plastic production in here, that would help. But what else was unlocked? So we got... Uh, that one. Petrochemical plant. Yeah, waste oil refining. Yeah. Nap the cracker plant. That was it. Uses oil to produce oil industry area. Special good plastic. Perfect. There we go. That is what we need. Needs to be placed inside industrial area. 8,000 units per week. Let's just see how big that is. That is not too huge. Can we sort of squeeze that in somewhere? Let's squeeze it in here. How does that look? Yeah, that's okay. That's sort of dug down into there. Excellent. So that's going to say oil, turn it into plastic. We've got oil right here. I'm just wondering whether we could just help things along a bit here. Let us... Go here. In fact, then let's take that back a bit. We'll connect that up. Why not? They can get in and out of work a bit quicker. Can we put in here... A warehouse yard. Will these store things like oil? Petroleum. What does this take? Yeah, oil to plastic. Glass, metal, unique factory products. What? Anything produced in unique factories, a luxury product, and can be sold in commercial zones. Cannot be imported. Oh, okay. Uh, forestry products. Oh, she can put it as an overall oil products. 
Oil can be, uh, can be imported, can be exported. Ah, so that's a bit different. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we can't just have it hold oil. So what is that holding at the minute? Zone industry oil products. We'll go for that. Yeah, that's going to be next to that one. Yeah, why not? And we just get some oil stored in there. But I think overall, we've got absolutely tons of oil. And hopefully this will help increase our plastic output. There we go. Look, that's filled up. Nice. But is that costing us a ton of money? Mute. Is that costing us a ton of money? We're doing okay. We're making money. Which is good. How's our factory areas going? Still about 20,000. So we want to sort of try and increase our factory areas, don't we? And how much? How's that doing? Oh, tons of crops in there. Good. That's okay. And how much money we're making with this. So I'm thinking we want to set up... Oh, we need so much more industry as well. A specialised area for factories with some of these new factories that we've got. And try and sort of build with just that in mind. So having the people nearby to work. The little industries we need to feed it. And really sort of trying to balance it. So we've got like a shipyard. The sneaker factory. What does the shipyard need? Um, timber, plastic, glass and metal. A sneaker factory needs crops. Okay. Paper, petroleum and plastic. Yeah, that makes sense. Car factory, animal products, plastic, glass and metal. Yeah, so lots. I mean, I think the car factory is huge. Yeah, look at the size of that. Can we just turn that off? No, we can't. Ship factory is not too big. Sneaker factory, car factory... Soft paper factory, we haven't done that one. Petroleum refinery, we haven't done. So what does that one take? Petroleum, plastic and metal. Okay, well we, we haven't got huge amounts of those. Clothing, electronics, lemonade. Yeah, there's loads, isn't there? Printing press and household plastic factory. Wow, okay. So where could we do this? Let's just have a look at our map. I mean, at the minute, if we check what squares we've got unlocked, we've got this big area here. What do we have down here? So we can do forestry. We can do more oil. We've still got ore over here. So we've, And farming isn't that far away. So we could do something this side of things. Uh, we've got this big square up here, which again has got access to pretty much everything bar oil. And then we've got this area over here. We've got some more oil. Oh, what's the matter with you? Flooding. Why are you flooding? That's weird. You shouldn't be flooding. Oh, let's quickly check on the pollution. 1%. Yeah, that's fine. We can deal with that. So, I think over here. Because then we've got this nice connection to this highway. Maybe we can do something with that. Unfortunately, we haven't got this connection here. We've got a connection to... Oh, wow, look at that. It's like an old abandoned train station. Oh, I like that. So maybe we can do something with that as well. But at least we've got access to the outside. We need to get some old train assets and pop them in there, don't we? <laughs> There's like a load of logs and things on the floor. I like that. Nice little touch. And then eventually we could come off of here, couldn't we? And have this as a... What do we need to hit next to unlock? 38,000. We're actually not that far off, are we? I think down here. Yep. Yeah, and then we're close to pretty much everything we need. And we can start building on that. Cool. Good. Okay. So, how are we going to get a road over there? I'm wondering whether to put a little triple junction in here. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So one of these, we sort of have it there. So it splits off three ways. Let's try and sort of go from this height. How does that fit in with that? Not too good. Let's try and go from this height. Okay, let's undo all of that. There we go. Let's go from this height. Is that the same as that? Whoa. Yes, not too bad. And then maybe take that out a little bit there. See whether the game likes that. Yes, much better. And then we can just sort of terraform that tiny bit. 
And we'll do something with those rocks. Let's get this in. So if we go... If the eyeball it, I think. Like that. Yeah, I think that should be okay. And then we'll line these up. Excellent, 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 excellent. I know I say excellent a lot. And now we've got access to over here via a highway, which is brilliant. So... I'm excited for this new area, this new industrial space. We've got huge amounts of need. And as soon as we start building that, our city's going to start growing as well. So be back here tomorrow. Hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. And maybe check out one of the other videos on screen as well. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.